Hey everyone out there on YouTube, this is Josh from A Bears World, and I wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how to clone trees using air layering. It's a pretty cool technique. So keep watching, and we'll go over some details. So you can see the new growth. The other two here still look like mostly dead leaves, but let's, let's cut them off. We're gonna cut here below where I place the soil. There we are, one clean cut. The second one. There we go. That's still, those leaves might be hanging on, we'll see. And then last but not least, let me do my monkey moves up here. Definitely film this in case something uh, ridiculousness worthy happens. And I got it. Alright, so now you can see more closely the new leaves and new growth I was talking about here. <sighs> Trying not to get ant bitten. And uh, yeah, let's open these up, see, what, see if there's any roots inside of the foil. Alright, so now we've got our branches removed that we're air layering. Uh, let's open up the little packages here like a kid on Christmas morning. Let's see if anything started a root. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure this one has roots in it, so we're going to stay that one for last. And this is the one that the ants were coming out of. So I'm a little curious what we're going to find on this. Oh, good lord. Alright, so no roots. I uh, don't think you can kind of tell, but this area here is actually where I made the cut and removed the bark, and that's where the roots were supposed to come out of. So nothing on that one. It does have a little, a little node here. I wonder if that means something. But uh, for now, no roots. So that one was not a success. Let's see this one here. Oh, this one's got something in it. Yes, this is what you're looking for here. So let's open up the, the bag and let's see if we can see the roots. I don't want to harm them, but it is a compostable bag. So by the end of this, what you probably will not see is I'm going to soak these before I actually try to plant them out. That way they get a good drink before they go into the soil. But you can see the roots here as you get a little bit closer. Those are, those are your roots. So just like with the other one, Let's see if I can maneuver this. Well, as you've seen in, the, in the, the past edited versions where I cut it, that's where the roots are coming out. So that is a great sign. Roots on the branch. All right, so two out of three, not bad. Let's open up this third one. Probably see a little bit more of the same. Yeah. 
that's a parasite. There's a type of bug that creates like this little powdery mildew. I just smushed him. You can kind of see like that. And this bug will kill and eat all the flowers off of your flowering fruit trees. So I definitely want to get rid of those. Hopefully they drown whenever I soak them in the water so that they're not coming up on the new trees and causing a lot of disease and stuff like that. But as we look a little bit closer, you can kind of see these roots here. So I made, I, I removed just the bark layer right here. And you can see the majority of the roots are all coming from that same area. And so that was a, a really good success. Uh, yeah, let's get these in some water. I'm gonna plant them out in a pot. Uh, one more tip that I left out is, uh, actually came from a friend and she was telling me that she air layers only limbs that have fruited because whenever you do it this way, they will produce fruits on the, the new tree much sooner. So we basically just cloned the giant mulberry tree here. And because we took the branches that had already fruited, I'm expecting we'll probably get fruit off of this, maybe next spring even. And it is, uh, it's the end of spring now, 2018. So spring 2019, hopefully we'll be eating some of our own mulberries off these cloned trees. I've got at least two of them. So I'm really excited. All right, so it is a little less than a week after we removed our air layerings, and I've got each in their own pot. Uh, the first one is looking really healthy, very nice leaf, leafy growth. The other has a ton of leaf buds on it, and so that's gonna be sprouting leaves all over the place. I'm super excited. This couldn't have worked any better for me. Two out of three. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys some shots of what the trees look like now, and I hope that you learn something from this. Maybe you can start cloning your own fruit trees and start a mini fruit tree army that will feed you for years to come. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, please. And if you really liked it, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos like this. And if you have friends that are starting to get into gardening as well, share this video with them. We can all kind of start growing things together, share pointers and tips. I certainly still have things I could learn. So. With that being said, have a great afternoon and keep growing.